America great and glorious again, I am tonight announcing my candidacy for President of the United States. It is now a third presidential run for former President Donald Trump. He made that big announcement in Florida. CBS 8's Chris Groh joining us now with how San Diegans are reacting to this announcement here, Chris. And guys, as you might imagine, with anything dealing with former President Donald Trump, quite a bit of split reactions. He is a polarizing candidate, to say the least. Now, he's teased this for at least two weeks, and when the filing became official, that actually happened before his formal announcement. We heard a number of different reactions across the nation, but also here in San Diego. I really don't understand how any sensible human being could possibly want him to run our country. If I were him, I would change a little bit my strategy, maybe become a little bit more inclusive and maybe have the people feel that, you know, because it's a lot of emotions going on, you know. And look, we heard from voters from either side of the political spectrum, all with their pretty strong opinions, as you just heard. Now, this does, of course, this announcement come on the heels of several key midterm results, with many political analysts pointing to Trump as a reason why the predicted red wave didn't happen. But then some supporters saying, of course, that the races that they did win, the Republicans did, that that was because of President Trump's support. Now, even some Republican strategists, though, were reportedly hoping he would hold off on this announcement until after the Georgia Senate runoff. Another challenge for the former president could be the mounting legal challenges that he faces, like the investigation into his handling of classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago estate. One political analyst that we spoke to says he could even face a challenge within his own party. Four years ago, there wasn't a Ron DeSantis. There, there weren't other viable Republican options. So there are some Republicans that think that the former president should hang up his red hat and pass the torch. But are those the majority of Republicans that are going to be voting? There's never been anything. Well, we will have to wait to see another wrinkle with Pres former President Trump's announcement yesterday is that the Republican National Committee will now no longer pay Trump's legal bills since he officially filed and announced his candidacy.